welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna do a sorrel fruit pudding recipe so this container i'm gonna sift one cup of all-purpose flour the flour is already pre-sifted however i am gonna pass it through a strainer just the same strainer or sieve whatever you want to call it Now to the one cup of all-purpose flour, I am going to add one cup of breadcrumbs. Now the reason for using the breadcrumbs is that I want a pudding-like texture. So that, that is what the breadcrumbs does. It gives the, it gives it a, the texture a pudding-like. If you don't like or if you don't want the pudding like texture do not use the breadcrumbs use two cups of all-purpose flour instead one teaspoon baking powder quarter teaspoon salt So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of mixed spice. The mixed spice is a combination of different spices, anise, ginger, cloves, and cinnamon. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon. Now I'm going to make sure to stir properly to combine the breadcrumbs, the flour, the salt, the baking powder and the spices together. So now I'm going to set this aside and then move on to the next step. I am going to cream one cup of granulated sugar. If you will be following this recipe, you can use brown sugar. To the sugar, I am going to add one cup of chiffon margarine. You can use butter if you prefer make sure that the margarine is at room temperature so now i'm gonna cream the margarine and the sugar until fluffy if you will be following this recipe make sure to use the precise measurement All right, people, so you want to ensure that you cream the margarine and the sugar until the mixture look like this. Or if you're using butter, it doesn't matter. So that is why it is very important to make sure that the butter or the margarine is at room temperature. So I think this is enough right all right so i'm gonna set this aside and move on to the next step i am using six eggs the eggs are at room temperature if you do not want to use eggs you can use quarter cup of vegetable oil however bear in mind that the result may not be what you want it to be because eggs 
add volume. So I'm gonna crack the eggs, remove the eyes, and then I'll be back. So now I'm gonna beat the eggs until light and fluffy. About one eighth teaspoon of lime juice. You can use lemon juice or you can use zest. Make sure that when you cream either the butter or the margarine, it looks like this or even better because this can cream some more but it is okay as it is so now I'm gonna add the egg or the eggs to this mixture I am using cherries, currants, raisins, and prunes. I still can't get any mixed feelers yet. And of course I added rum and fruit wine. To the fruits as well. I have right here two and quarter cups of sorrel syrup if you want to know what is sorrel syrup i uploaded a video last year and then i uploaded a recent video about two days ago or so so you can check it out sorrel syrup is that um you want to ensure that the consistency is syrupy so and it is unsweetened so I'm gonna use some and this is how we make sorrel cake in our family in fact I thought this was the only way of making sorrel cake until YouTube came about and then I saw people in Trinidad putting sorrel puree into their sorrel cake and I said okay maybe that's their tradition of making sorrel cake okay that is not my tradition we don't put at least my family we don't put the sorrel puree into the mixture you understand yeah man so please don't come on my video and come tell me about that is not sorrel cake because it is not how you think it should be so I'm adding some of the sorrel mixture and if you notice that it is thick right here yeah, man So I'm adding about a teaspoon of vanilla. 
if you are using vanilla extract you can use half teaspoon but this is vanilla flavoring so I use one teaspoon so I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt maybe about one eighth teaspoon yes just to it adds flavor or I should say it balances the flavor so just a little bit two teaspoons of strawberry jam or I should say mel melted strawberry jam I melt it in the microwave Right. I'm gonna give it a good stir and the purpose of the jam is that it it, give, it helps with um, the mildness of the texture I guess yeah so now I'm gonna add the flour mixture Gonna add it a little at a time. So now I'm gonna add just a little bit of overproof white rum and a little bit of the fruit fruit wine. I already soaked the fruits into the red label wine, the fruit wine, the overproof white rum and the drunkabati. That is the real rum we call drunk about tea as I explained in a previous video or kunu kunu yes so I already soaked the fruits in the alcohol so I'm not gonna add a lot of alcohol to this because my husband doesn't drink alcohol and he doesn't like when the cake taste of too much alcohol but I add just a little bit of rum and a little bit of the wine right this so yes some more of the sorrel syrup I think I'm gonna add the entire thing When you, if you use your sorrel, I use the block sorrel, the block sorrel, so it will be a little bit more to the color that you perceive the sorrel cake or the sorrel pudding should be. But if you are not seeing that that color, do not add any food coloring to the mixture. 
because listen it's gonna show that you had fruit um food coloring you're gonna see it sometime the cake or the pudding whatever you're making is just extremely red like blood or it turns out to be having a orange tint to it so you're looking at that and you know that food coloring red food coloring was added to it you don't want to do that just leave it use the sorrel and whatever color you get from it just leave it at it as it is so I think this mixture is okay but what I like to do is to just leave it for about I would say five minutes and let it gather and soak and then I will see the consistency if it is okay so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna leave it right there for about five minutes okay so this is the mixture this is what it should be like not too runny and not too too thick so this is okay right okay So I'm going to put this container with some water into an oven and then preheat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm going to bake the pudding. This is my sorrel fruit pudding. This is how I like it, right? Some people rather the cake version. Some people rather the pudding version. You understand? I prefer the pudding version. So this is it. Very moist. Very nice. Yeah, man. So you can try my way of preparing sorrel fruit pudding and see if you like it. I am sure you will like it. Just try the recipe. Thanks for watching.